for everybody, freedom has a different definition. All right, what I want you to do is I'm just going to take you on a little bit of a journey. We're not going to go deep into this, but if you just indulge me, take a really deep breath. Close your eyes and go into the future with me. We are now 10 years down the track, 10 years into the future. You are smashing your mission. You're on mission, you're on purpose. Everything that you've dreamed about over the last two days is actually taking place. Feel it. See it. Understand it. Now I want, to, I want you to ask yourself the question, what are you doing right now? Are you spending more time with your family? Are you still in business? Are you on holidays permanently? What are you actually doing? Who's around you? Have you brought a new child into the world? Have you married? Have you found that partner of your dreams? Have you got that great group of friends that you're just hanging out with and enjoying time? Whereabouts are you doing it? You in Australia, you offshore, you in the ranch of your dreams. Now that you're in that perfect place, I want you to start to look back in time and just understand how that all transpired. When did it all transpire? Because it didn't happen instantaneously. All right, as you slowly open your eyes, I want you to just write down four things, just on your notepad in front of you, four things that you just realized, four things that perhaps you hadn't thought of before. Just take the time to do that now. Either who you were around, where you were, what was happening. This is what we call designing your life in advance. Because when you know where you're going, and let, let's, I know it's not about the destination, right? It's about the journey that you're going to get there. But having an idea of where the future sits gives you something that you can start to aim at. Gives you the, because if you just run along blind, life will just happen to you. And if that's where you want to be, that's cool. That's fine. But I can't, but you can't plan for it from a, a finance perspective. You cannot protect a future that you don't know exists. So now that we know where we're going, all we need to do is we need to do the same thing that we did in the planning process, right? And the planning process isn't complicated, it's simple, yes? All we do is that we then figure out, okay, so over, over a timeline to our perfect future, what did we actually see? Did we have a, a new partner in our life? Did we have, uh, you know, uh, is there a new car or something like that? Or was it, you know, the investment property or the new house? Or, you know, perhaps it's, perhaps it's freedom. And what I know is for everybody, freedom has a different definition. But if you define what that looks like to you, then all you need to do is you start to reverse engineer this. It's a really simple calculation. If you know what the house costs, you know what the car costs, you know what your partner costs. <laughs> this better not be recorded. All you need to do is reverse engineer the calculations on this. Is that difficult? No, it's simple. It's really, really simple. It's just that too few of us spend the time asking ourselves the questions that are important about our life and defining what that looks like for us in the future. What you now know from Kerwin is that just by planning this process out, it's eight times more likely to happen. And whether you believe in the quantum world or not, whether you sort of think it's a little bit of hocus pocus, I'd f just give it a shot anyway. Because you could be wrong. I've been wrong many times in my life. Just ask my partner. <laughs>